What you doing, Molly? I'm getting ready for Leslie. Leslie's coming on by. We're going to do a little cooking. Bacon. A little baking. That's what we're doing. What are you making? I see some chocolate chips over here. Well, you know, chocolate chips are my all-time favorite food in the world. So, she promised me we could do something with chocolate chips. But Leslie is a great gluten-free, high-altitude baker. So, she's going to come over and we're going to do chocolate chips. Excellent. Sounds good. When's she coming? I don't know. She should be here any minute. That sounds great. <laughs> That must be her. Come on in, Leslie! Hi! <laughs> oh, the dogs are after her. Dogs got him. Come on in! Hi! Alright, you gotta come in. You gotta meet everybody. Okay. Hey, this is everybody. Hi, guys! Hi, everybody! Hi! This is Leslie. Like I said, Leslie is this great high altitude gluten free baker. And vegan. And vegan. Let's not forget the vegan. <laughs> That's right. And she has this uh, awesome company called Momo Cakes. Um, right here in Santa Fe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so Leslie, what are we going to bake today? Um, today we're going to bake my vegan and gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. And they're so delish. Oh, I'm so excited because I have been trying to find a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie to substitute my perfect chocolate chip cookie. I understand. So these are um, my best sellers at the farmer's market. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to get going here. Okay. All right, so what do we need to start off? Um, do we have a mixing bowl? Oh, yes. we're going to just throw everything in here? I don't know. What do you want? Let's throw everything in here. That'll work. Okay. Okay. All right. So first, let's move this on over. Okay. Okay. She's really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing we have to do, you know, gluten-free baking is really difficult. And um, it's actually really difficult at high altitude. So um, there's a couple of things that you have to change around. You can't use as much leavening, and you can't use as much sugar either. So we're going to go through it all. So in here we have a gluten-free flour mix, and in here there's a mixture of a whole bunch of different flours because no one flour works. Uh, you did figure that out. Yeah. yeah. You try one flour, it just tastes really bad. So this is my secret concoction, which I will tell you about later. Yeah, and we will have the recipe at the end of this video, so you have to stay <laughs> right here to get the recipe. Exactly. Okay. All right, so here, let's put this in first. So this is um, vegan shortening. Okay. And, oh, snaps. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Thank you. <laughs> My friend Molly, she just, she's just <laughs> perfect. Right there. Okay, here, so let's lift this up. I don't, think, I don't know how to lift it. Really? really? Is this the old-timey one? I don't know. <laughs> You have, like, the old-timey one. Okay, I have okay. the old-timey one. It was a great deal, though. Very frugal. Uh, well, these oh, things are expensive, no. but let me tell you, they work great. So we're going to throw in the vegan shortening, and we're going to mix this with the sugar. And actually, for high-altitude baking, you can't use as much sugar either because everything just gets really gooey. So you actually have to use less sugar as well. Which is probably good for us. Which is yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay. And we'll make up for it with the chocolate chips anyway. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we're throwing in the sugar. Okay. And mm -hmm. is this just regular sugar? Is this raw sugar? No, this is um, um, vegan. It's it's cane sugar, but it's um, vegan sugar. Okay, what, and, um, do you know what vegan sugar is? Oh, that's the oven. It's ready. Oh. <laughs> um, vegan sugar is... Sugar made out of uh, You might want to Google it. <laughs> no, I know what it is, but my brain is having a, I don't know, I'm having like a senior moment. Um, it is, um, it's basically cane juice that's been evaporated. So the, the processing that they do for that is a lot less, so it's still sugar, but it's a little bit less refined, so okay. it's, it's better okay. than just like white sugar. Okay. Because even raw sugar is refined. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to turn the mixture on. Yeah, let's flip it up here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Do now. okay. okay. Yeah, you, can, you can work the mi mixer for me. Since okay. It's what old timey one? What number? Let's put it on two and let me see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're mixing this, and while we're mixing this, we need the vanilla. Okay. Okay. So while the sugar and the shortening, shortening is mixing, we also have the egg replacer because we're vegan, so we don't use eggs, and um, 
It's a mixture of potato starch, tapioca, a few different starches, and also um, rice milk. So we're going to throw this in. Super fabulous. Now, so far, this looks like my regular chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, exactly. And basically, this this takes the place of the eggs as a binder. Okay. And while that is mixing, we'll also put in the vanilla. Okay. And also for high altitude, I like to put in a little more than what they say. Oh, I like to just for taste. I know. Because <laughs> it's good. It's very yummy. Okay. So here, let's do two of these. Let's do actually one, two, and three. Nice. Perfecto. Okay. Maybe let's put it up a notch. So that the, yeah, a we'll mixer. just make it creamy faster. Okay. That's good. Okay, oh. let's stop for a minute. Yep. All right, now let's make the thing go down. Okay. I'm doing the reverse of what I'm used to. Oh, okay. Okay. So Should we, now, like, show them what it looks like? Yeah, let's show them. Yeah. Okay. So. So that's the shortening, the sugar, the vanilla, and the egg replacer. Okay. Okie dokie. Cookies. Oh, cookies. <laughs> cookie time, cookie time. I like this. It's because it's older. It's uh, it's is this stainless steel? It's aluminum. Oh, okay. That's really nice though. Cause now they make them. I don't know what it is. Some kind of weirdo plastic. Okay. So now we're gonna throw this in. Okay. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like um. Let's here. Let's do a little bit at a time. Okay. And the last thing that we'll do is the chocolate chip. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay. Put that rest of it in. We might have to just knead it with our hands too. I usually do that. Yeah. Like I get to a certain point and then I kind of. I don't it. want it to be too mixed. Yeah. Can okay. We stop? Yeah, let's stop now. Okay. Yeah, I usually uh, do that. Like the very last bit, I'll, I'll just kind of knead it with my hands. Yeah. So here you can see again. There we go. Looks like cookie dough. Exactly. Yeah. That was Michael. Mike. Sorry, that was Mike. There's <laughs> the camera there. And it, I mean, honestly, it tastes just like regular cookie dough. Just exactly. And it's, to me, I feel like it could, it might need a teeny tiny bit more of the um, rice milk. Okay. So we're going to, because it seems. I'll it, go get that. Yeah, let's get a little teeny bit more of the rice milk. So it could just be a little bit more sticky. And the best part is we're going to put in the chocolate chips. Ah. Here, let's put, yeah, let's put a little tip in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> a little dab will do ya. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Now, and I always fold in my chocolate chips. So I, I never put it in the mix. Right? Yeah, me too. And then I feel like, I feel like for some reason, though, that it could just use a tad more shortening. Okay. I do feel that. All right. Let me grab it. I don't know why. I think that, you know, being here at the high altitude, you just never know for sure from day to day, you know, if it's, if it's winter time and it's really dry, you might need a little bit more of something or a little less of something. So let's just put it in a scoop. I think we probably need that again, though. Okay. Don't you think? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like this much? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Let's and try that. There we go. Okay. Well, maybe not. I just want to make sure that it get all gets in there. You make good strong hands, Leslie. That's right. 
Because I make a lot of cakes and cookies. You do. <laughs> and they're delicious. And I eat them. <laughs> oh, they're yummy. They're I delicious. loved your chocolate, she had a chocolate mint fat pants cake, which was the best ever. Thanks, Mom. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. I know, even Mike Prize was... Prize winning. Mike was like, th he couldn't believe it was gluten free. Yep, vegan and gluten free. I oh, know. Vegan? Oh my god. That's right. People <gasps> loved it. I know. It was amazing. And it had, it was delish because it had mint, chocolate, and I mean, how else can you go wrong? Oh, it was like just tall. And it was huge. Oh, it was so yummy. Okay. So now I feel more confident. Yeah, it looks good. I feel more confident. Let's show them one more time. Yeah, let's show them one more time. There Regular you go. batter. See? Looks nice and goopy now. Okay. Cookie, good. Uh, cookie dough batter. So then here we're going to fold these in. Okay. Seems like an awful lot of chips, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Okay, <laughs> let's throw this in here. Okay. And meanwhile, we set the oven at 350, and um, they bake, mm, I would have to say, between 9 and um, 11 minutes, depending on how crunchy you like cookies. I don't like crunchy cookies. I like them to be a little softer. So I kind of usually work on about the, the nine minute time. I do too. I like the little crunch, or the little soft. Mm-hmm. Just like some crunchy. She wants some fat out. She wants to get them a little hard. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to put these in. And you put them on parchment paper. I put it on parchment paper, which is really nice because that way you have a lot less mess. Okay. They don't stick. It's super fab. Well, and you know, we put our parchment paper in with our worm farm. You went to worm farm? Yeah, worm farm. Oh my god, it's little worms and they eat your your paper and trash Oh and my stuff. god, you your know, compost I thought that you guys ate worms. It's a delicacy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you never know what people are going to eat out here in northern New Mexico. That's right. Okay. Some worms. <laughs> Worm souffle. That sounds really good. <laughs> okay. So now we got these all mixed in here pretty good. Takes a little bit of extra time when you put in more chips. But it's worth it. Totally worth it. Okay. Mixy, mixy. Alright, then what I like to do, honestly, I kind of just eyeball them. Okay. And um, I just make them into about here. I roll them up into a ball. Okay. Maybe we should make them a little bigger today. Oh, maybe we should. <laughs> big ball. Big ball. <laughs> big ball. Yeah. Yeah. Big chocolate ball. <laughs> okay. That's very different, Shadow. Sorry. Okay. I know. Well, at least we're not cussing. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. don't really got. <laughs> okay. Okay. That looks like an ounce, ounce and a half. Yeah. Okay. Just, just you know, eyeballing. I'm just there. eyeballing them. Yeah. I make so many. Help? Oh yeah, please okay. help me. And then afterwards, we'll just we pat we just push them down a little bit just to help them oh. in the spreading process. Okay. Mhm. Mm Fabulous. Oh, thank you. This will be good if they're a little bit bigger. And then that way, when we're done, we can eat them too. Oh, that'd be really nice. Because what what are we gonna do with I'm these? I'm hungry. I know. I need a snack. Never too many cookies. Oh. Mm mm. Okay. Oh wow, these chocolate chips are going to be good. And these are also vegan um, chocolate chips, by the way. And they're um, made in a facility that also does not use tree nuts and dairy and soy and all those other food allergens that can really be hard on, especially kids, but adults too. They're finding that um, way more people have um, allergic reactions to food than they ever thought before. It's just more and more people, and especially children. And the key is to be able to make stuff that's really tasty. It is. Because back in the day, they would make this stuff, and it tasted uh -huh. like a rock or oh, paper. It's horrible. It was super bad. Yeah. But I really like baked goods, so it's been my mission to make fabulous vegan gluten-free stuff that I would eat. And I love you for that. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's smush them down. Okay. Smush them down a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Look at all the chips I on know. that one. I know. We did oh, good. Um, we did fabulous. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's just show. Yeah, let's show everybody how fab this looks. They look great. Delicious. <gasps> okay, let me grab okay. the other tray. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's.
Leslie. I smell cookies. I smell cookies too. I'm so excited. Okay. Shall oh. we check? Yep. Okay, let's check. Oh, they look done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they look fabulous. Oh. Alright, you guys. Oh check this out, you guys. Beautiful. Look at this. Look I at wish this. you all could be right here and eat them. Smell them. Mmm. Oh. How delicious. Vegan, good. gluten free. How crazy is that? Oh how good do they look? Didn't say that. I know. They you don't even have to tell people. Oh they won't God. even know. Yeah. People won't even know. Oh my God. They're I amazing. Know. They look bad. Okay. Well, let's get on some plates and yeah. have some. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. You're on. All right, Leslie. How can I? I'm very excited. I'm super excited. Okay. Shall we try one? Let's try one. I'm super excited. Oh. Mmm. Oh, they're very good. Mmm. They're very good. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are so delicious. These are delicious. Mmm. 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 Mm. These are so good. Mm. Alright, so like I promised, we will have the recipe. Just following up, watching us eating the cookies. Mm hmm And you can make your very own one. Or you can actually order from Leslie. Mm hmm So we'll also put all that information up, but she's at momocakes.com. Mm hmm She's got a fabulous website, and you can order all of her fabulous things. Mm-hmm. Cupcakes, cookies, cakes, all kinds of pies. Everything that's baked goods I have. And I have had one of her pies and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. And I okay. So, okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs>